All right, we're hooking up a 220, 240 volt uh, water heater here. Here on the country I was born in, we use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps, 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps. country I was born in, our white is neutral, our red is live, our black is live, and our green or bare wire is the ground. There are instances where a white wire can be live, and that will be in a 240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral, and we're not going to be using this neutral here. But we have a red and black, and we're going to leave it here for in case a new style water heater gets put in that does require a neutral. So we're going to leave it on here. Capped off inside. So we'll stick our Romex connector in here. And we do have a ground screw down in here. So we get our jacket down in the box there a little bit. Make sure we're centered on the Romex connector. Okay, so we have our three wires here. First we'll get our ground wire around this green screw here. Thank you. 
Make sure it's nice and tight. Now look. Our copper is under the screw head all the way around. Yeah, I gotta squeeze that closed a little bit tighter here. So I'll open it up. Take my needle nose. Come back in a little bit further, squeeze it in. Okay, we're under the uh, screw head all the way around, so we're grounded. Okay, so we'll get our iron strippers. You know, okay, so I'm going to save white wire here and we're going to cap it off. We get our, we'll pull our slack up here a little bit here. We put our white wire down. We'll save it capped off in here. This is number 10 here, and this is number 12. So we're not going to twist these wires together. We're going to just line them up even. So we'll get get our copper even at the bottom here. Get our, see how I got our insulation even at the bottom here. And I want to make sure I get them nice and even here. Cut them so they're nice and even. Make sure they're even here at the top. Get them even like that. We'll stick our wire nut on and we'll twist it down. Okay, grab both of our wires here so we can start twisting our wire nut nice and tight. Push it down in. Now we'll get our reds together here. Strip that one with our number 12. We'll strip this one with our number 10. Make sure they're they line up evenly like that. I'm going to put that off just a bit for a little longer. See how they're both the same length there? Hold them even like this. Stick our wire nut on. And just tighten it up under here. See how it's going in nice and tight here. I'll push it down into our box. Now I'll take my flashlight and just look and make sure our insulation is underneath the bottom of our wire nut or 
two reds are in, blacks are in. Okay, so now we can take open our cover up. I did not drive rod use it, but I don't. It is what it is. Piece of copper down in here. Hey yo! No, nope, I did it. So I'll bring the camera up close and show you. So now we can stick our cover back on here like this. So that is how to wire a water heater here in the country. I was wondering. Peace. Thanks for watching.